from the Mackenzie Town condo fire is not only what was destroyed, but what was saved. It's the first blaze at a project using new fire-resistant building codes. Fire-rated materials must be used on the exterior walls to delay the spread of fire to adjacent buildings. And according to the fire department, it worked. The product gave us enough time as a fire service to respond and to uh, uh, deploy our apparatus and get water on the fire. And, and really that's what that, that code change was all about, giving the fire service time. The condo unit west of the main fire site had a fire-resistant pink wood coating. The chief says at 20 meters away, exposed untreated wood would have ignited. From what I've seen from the videos, I've seen the entire building burnt down and walls with pink wood still standing. So I'm very confident and comfortable in what we're doing as a company. Fire department also says townhomes east of the fire are still standing because of non-combustible cement fiberboard siding. The intense heat melted parked cars and window frames, but the hardy board is untouched. With that siding in place, that saved this building in my opinion. This new condo complex off Edmonton Trail uses fire rated drywall, hardy board siding and metal windows. It's an extra cost the developer now knows is worth it. It's nice to know that the new regulations work. It's a static fire guard system. Um, it's nice to know that even without the sprinklers in place, it was still able to slow, in some cases, even stop the fire. This fire will now become a case study for the importance of using fire-resistant building materials. In fact, the deputy chief says he's going to Toronto for a major conference in a couple of weeks, and this will be one of the topics of discussion. Tony Tai, Global News.